All right, what's going on guys? Rossing here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a legendary blunderbuss gameplay. The name of this weapon is actually called the Dragonfire. Like, what a unique and, like, epic name. Honestly, you think of, like, names, you think of the Speakeasy, the Goliath, the Obsidian Steed. Like, those names are, like, you know, they're pretty cool and pretty unique, but the Dragonfire, like, that right there, it just means death, honestly. I th when I think of that, I think of Smaug from Lord of the Rings and just total fire and death. So, the name, I think, is like really cool and the blunderbuss i think that just it ties in together and i really really enjoy the gun itself like the look of the legendary blunderbuss is just amazing honestly i really do enjoy the look of the weapon so before we actually get any further into the video and give you guys i guess my overall opinion or my thoughts on the new legendaries or the new three weapons we got today or the other day in advanced warfare uh if you guys could drop a like i would greatly appreciate that let's see if we can't get like 150 likes on this video uh you guys kind of been slacking lately on the likes but uh that's pretty much my fault i took a little break so i, I don't really blame you but it would be sweet if we could get 150 likes that would be amazing and it definitely helps the video and the channel just get a little bit more exposure big shout out to erbo for actually letting me play on his account i actually do not have this weapon he was nice enough to actually let me play on his account so i'm super grateful for him he's nearing 20,000 subscribers so if you guys could go over to his channel and check out some of the stuff he has uh i'm sure you guys will be amazed by some of the awesome quality content that he has over on his channel It'll be linked down in the description so go tell him that i sent you but big shout out to him for letting me actually play on his account to get you guys this video for today so a couple days ago we actually received three new weapons in advanced warfare it was very unfortunate that you had to get them in a supply drop or an advanced supply drop just to unlock the basic model of the weapon we ended up getting the stg 44 the blunderbuss and the svo an assault rifle a shotgun and a sniper rifle i think that overall they were pretty good weapons i've used all three of them uh the stg i don't have but i was able to pick it up off the ground I actually picked up the legendary variant of that and i just wasn't thinking and i didn't hit record on my capture device or i'll be bringing you guys a legendary stg 44 gameplay but uh, anyways um the guns i think perform pretty good in their i guess in, in, in an aspect of themselves now the blunderbuss i think is more of a special weapon not really a shotgun uh, it is a unique shotgun it, i think it's the most powerful shotgun within the game but i think of it really as a special weapon now the stg 44 I love, honestly, I love the, I love the gun. I, I just think that we needed another assault rifle, but we needed one that wasn't a directed energy weapon. I think we needed one like the STG that actually fired like solid ammunition, like straight lead and fire into their bodies. I think that that right there is what we needed, and I love the STG. Back in World at War, it was, I think it was the only fully automatic assault rifle, so I think that it was a fan favorite, and I'm glad that they ended up bringing it back. The SVO is a semi-automatic sniper, which is actually pretty good. You can get consistent one-shot kills with the SVO. Uh, like I said, the blunderbuss is just pretty much uh, maybe a bust. I really don't know. I haven't used it too much. I was just able to get on and get this gameplay for you guys today, which it really isn't the best. So hope you guys will understand about that. But I really do think that the blunderbuss is might it might be a bust, but it's more like a specialty weapon. You can't run around and go like you know all out wild into the middle of a battlefield. You kind of have to play strategic, try to take the lanes less traveled. If that makes any sense, try to try to move around the map on, on ways that you don't think people are going to be there. Try to hit them from the side or from the back, and you'll definitely see yourself excelling while using the blunderbuss. But I do think that it's more along the lines of a specialty weapon. It's not really the Tac 19 or the Bulldog. I think that those are are more user friendly. If that makes any sense, the blunderbuss is like it takes like five seconds to reload. So that's really the only downfall of the weapon. Now the looks, like I said earlier, the looks of this weapon is just amazing, honestly. And I think that every blunderbuss has a different look about it you know like the obsidian steed and uh the inferno like they have just a different look but they're not like totally different and and not every variant is different but the blunderbuss i'm pretty sure that like every variant has a different look about it so i think that the blunderbuss on looks is the best out of all the three weapons we received but the stg i think is the best for like usability and how consistent you can do in, in a game so hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys have any of these weapons let me know down in the comment section below i definitely would appreciate that and i'm definitely interested to find out if any of you guys have had any luck in the supply drop i have not had any luck at all i don't have any of these 
on it on any of my accounts so it's pretty unfortunate that I haven't gotten any but I haven't bought any supply drops so that that could be why but like I said just let me know if you have any of these weapons in the comment section below go check out Urbo telling him thank you for letting me play on his account I really do appreciate it it's been a pleasure to you guys and until the next time this is Rising Out peace